This is just to show that induction can be configured with no lens drag, no lens or no lorenz affecting the input. Here we have just a basic little cell of a solar panel with some solder on it and it's broken. It's just one cell. It's nothing amazing here. So it's not going to produce a lot. It's not a big 12 volt panel. It's just a cell. Okay. The output leads go to a transformer, out of the transformer to the scope. So we're going to pulse DC with a strobe light, a little strobe app. Pulse some DC, pulse some light at the solar panel. Pulsing DC goes into the transformer and we get alternating current of sorts on the output. Now that's set to direct current, so you can see it's passing the zero line. So it is definitely alternating. Now you could probably shape that wave better with some electronics and control the pulses, the uh, strobe, so it doesn't just shut off, so it dims slower and make that wave better. But anyway, this is just to prove we're creating induction in that transformer. And it is creating a lens effect, which is passing to the primary, but that has no path back to the light source. So whatever load you pull off this, when you take this, it cannot draw more from the source. So I'm not making claims of it could do anything miraculous. I don't know. I don't know where it could lead. But there are ways, and I'm certain of it, such as this, to bypass the load of the secondary being put onto the source. So, there you have it. Something to think about. And a little more to think about. Um... The secondary is affecting the primary, and the primary is sending the amperage back to the cell. So is it possible to intercept that amperage of the primary, somehow tapping these wires? Something to think about, then you could get two times the amount, but I don't know, it's an interesting little thing that clearly shows the source does not have to be directly connected to the transformer and that will prevent passage of the generated electric field coming back to the source.